So generally, we're going to look at two things that I wouldn't demonstrate. I'm just going to show you through. Uh, number one is pagination and, one, and the other one is progress. The reason why I'm not demonstrating them is because there is um, it's so simple to even demonstrate. So this is how you should progress uh, to users. Maybe when they are filling a sign-up form or filling their profile or whatever, you show, show them a progress bar. And then you can determine the length of this bar by changing the number here. You see, this is the maximum value. This one is zero. This is the first one. The progress is zero. That is value mean. The, va the maximum value is 100. Now the second one, the, the, the value mean is zero. The value now, the current uh, value, you understand, is what, 25%. That's why it's here. So once you uh, adjust the value now, like what we have here, you will see that um, it will move. This one is 50. And you have value now 75 so that's it another thing you can do is to change the colors you can change the colors of this and the general design um, uh, this one you can you can write something inside if you use this code it will show you that uh, a way to write something inside all you have to do is to put something and then the person will see it um, yeah you can, yes of course you can change the color this is what I was trying to show you you have success you have BG info, BG warning, and uh, it keeps changing the color for you. Then you can use multiple bars. Depending on what you're trying to accomplish, you can use multiple bars. So you can use stripe. This is the one I like to use all the time. When user is filling a form, they can see this, and it makes sense to them. Then you can make it animated. Look at, um, if you click on it, it will start actually moving. Look at, it's moving. I don't know if you can see it, but I can see that this the stripes are now showing that showing a progress as if I'm installing something so this is how you do that so um, just take your time go through uh, the whole um, progress and you see that you can use it easily it's very easy that's why I don't want to spend time uh, doing uh, scrolling through it then the next thing we want to look at is pagination pagination is for instance when you have a list of items and at the end of the day, you want somebody to click at the bottom of the page to move to the next page. That is pagination. So um, look at it. I, I know you've seen this uh, somewhere on websites before. You have previous, you have next, and you have the numbers. So this page uh, uh, shows you the different ways you can arrange pagination. Like this one has previous and next, while this one just has arrows. And then, of course, just remember that you can always use the change the colors. And this one doesn't have arrows, it just have it just has um buttons, and then you can align them in the middle, and so on. Alright, so that's pagination. Now the final one is uh carousel. Carousel helps you to slide pictures, helps you to slide pictures around. Look at uh this is an example. So sometimes you're building a website that you need a slide on your home page. It is in carousel if you look at it it slides different images all you have to do is copy this code paste then adjust the images insert the link to the images let me show you so you have to download the images look at this one has the, this carousel has three images so you have to download the images save it in your images folder then you insert the link to the, the uh, route to the images here and then uh, your carousel will be done so users can now click around to go through your carousel. Then if you scroll down, you can see some minor, minor settings. For instance, you can have something written on it and have this guy here. So if somebody clicks here, they can see. So that's it for carousel. Then of course, there are some J jQuery controls. If you want it to rotate by itself, you have to set the time. For instance, if you set the time 2000, 2000 means 2 seconds, 3000 means 3 seconds. So if you set it at 2000, that means every two seconds the slide will flow by itself remember how we added jquery code we put it inside a script tag at the bottom of our page once you add this it will flow by itself all right thank you very much hope you enjoyed this video and then in the next video we'll be rounding up some things on this bootstrap where i'll show you other extensions you can add to bootstrap to beautify your page like I told you all through this video, I was being careful not to go outside of the confines of Bootstrap 4. 
but in the next video we will actually exceed that confines and see how you can gain access to more libraries that you can use thank you very much see you